Yo, what's up once again? It's Fano here with another music production video. There's something cool I want to show you. First, I'm going to let you know I recently started a Patreon page. Link will be below. So if you want to take a look, I will be posting stuff like this. I want to do it more regularly. So there will be free stuff like this, but also some heavy hitters that will only be available to those with a paying membership. So do take a look. Without further ado, let's just get into this guy here. I wanted to show you a mixing technique. I was mixing this song recently, that is what I do as my living, mainly. I work a, a lot with electronic and hip-hop. This song is um, unreleased for now by an artist, Ferg Stramental, so his info will be there. He's got an album coming out that I just finished mixing. I love his boom bap style. But well, there was this one thing that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna mute all the all the tracks that I don't need. So this is pretty wide. So a bit of a filler sound and I like the width. And also we have a flute sound here and now I wanted to make it wide. But I don't always want every sound to be wide at the same time. So what I did here is this filler sound will be playing wide when the flute is not there. But when the flute comes in, this filler main sound actually becomes very narrow. So how do I do this? Let me first play these sounds both really wide. So let's go. I'll solo them for you real quick. So this is the flute. So I like the width, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty picky when it comes to everything. I mean, that, that's my living. But so I wanted to make this main sound um, less wide when the flute comes in, because I think when they're both really wide, it gets a slightly messy in the stereo field. It's almost like I'm not sure which the main sound would be, and I don't want to take the level down. So what I did was I'm going to do this from scratch, but now you can see, take a look at this width control here. This is for this filler sound. Let me flick it on and off. Let's listen. You're going to need headphones for this or a decent listening environment. So that's the width reduced. And there the width is back again okay so how do i do this let me undo what i have done and start from scratch so i will delete the plugins that i'm using for this so i can show you i will be using the envelope follower which is a part of maxwell live and by the way i will be also showing another way to do this which doesn't require maxwell live but on this flute track i'm going to load envelope follower and on this track here, I'm going to load utility. As you can see, I use these really stupid preset names. These are This is the stuff that I need every single day of the year. I've done these names that are super short, stupid, easy to find and load. On this flu, flu track, I have this envelope follower. I'll enter map mode. And now I can map this to whatever. So I wanna map it to width. Let's see, does it work? It kind of does, but it needs more intensity because now the width is only getting reduced a little bit. So what to do here? A very easy way to do that is crank up the gain on envelope follower. You will get a visual feedback of that. I can hear it working. So basically, it's taking it's taking into account the incoming signal by 22 dB more than the default zero, and these two values are the like the starting point and the like the ending point with when it reaches the maximum value 
and that is relating to this here. So it's a the width here is like a bipolar control. So when there's no signal happening, it's at 50%, which is exactly the center. So it's not like boosted or it's not a minus amount. And when it's at maximum value, it reaches this, which is at zero. So and then the width hits zero. So once again, let's see it's working. That is how you side chain width. It's not more complex than that. And I know, I know, there will be people saying, so how do I do it if I don't have Max for Live? Well, first, get Max for Live. It's powerful. I'm, I'm not a salesman. I don't gain anything from the sales of Ableton Live or Max for Live. I'm just saying it's very powerful. There's very many good tools. But still, let's do this the non Max for Live way. So how do I do this? Well, let me stay on this main wide sound filler soundtrack. And I need to create first I need to create two chains like a mono chain and the stereo chain so I can side chain the stereo chain using a regular compressor. So how do I do this? Let me just get utility here. And uh, this is a good starting point. So I will make I first make this mono boom. That's it. I will group it to get the rack that gives me like a clear indication of chains or like signal chains. So I will call this mono and I will duplicate this. So I have two of these chains. The second chain I will make fully stereo. And by the way, this is a good one because in this mode of utility, I would now be boosting the width, which is not what I want. So right click mid side mode. So now I can make it fully side or stereo. So I have mono and stereo or side or mid or side or mo mono and stereo. So let me also I could call this side or stereo. So now it's not really doing anything other than splitting the signal into mono and stereo. But it's a stereo that I want to side chain using a regular compressor. So let's do that. I'll bring a compressor to the stereo chain. And then here side chain from flute track, track number 10. So let's see and hear and listen. It is losing width because now the stereo chain is getting pushed down. Let's listen. I flicked it on and off so you can hear that when I flick it off the width is back. So that is how you side chain with enable to live in two efficient ways. And if you like it, I feel super corny about saying this, but I guess people should say it like the video, subscribe and whatever. Keep me on Patreon till the next time. Yo.